What's up everybody, Nat Batman doing another movie review and I know it's been a while but they're still in the progress of uh, repairing our theater but I was so happy when I was able to get a little Christmas miracle and they actually opened the theater just for this weekend to premiere Star Wars The Force Awakens and I couldn't be any happier than to be able to watch it especially with my friends and my girlfriend and to experience the latest entry in the Star Wars franchise. First I'm going to talk about the director J.J. Abrams. I've really enjoyed his work on Mission Impossible 3 but most especially Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. He also did a really good job uh, in casting choices. I think that the role of Finn played by John Boyega was a really good choice. He he looks like a very vulnerable character who is also, uh, you know, he's forced into a situation that he uh, never wanted to be in and he's trying to do good on his terms and also seeing his relationship with the character Ray, played by Daisy Ridley. Those two have a really good on-screen chemistry. And what I also like is that she's also a pretty big motivation for uh, Finn's character, which really helps the plot move along. What I also liked about uh, Ray is that her story is very mysterious. We don't really get spoon-fed uh, her exact origin story but what's cool is how we get some little bits and pieces of it that we can probably draw suspicion on or maybe like help us paint a big picture until maybe episodes 8 and 9 can help um, you know give us the full backstory. The actor who played Paul Dameron was also one of my favorites but one of the uh, little complaints I had about uh, his role is that he was actually in there a little too short but I guess it actually makes sense plot wise because he is more of an action character who uh, you mostly see in scenes that involve action scenes but whenever he's on screen and he actually delivers dialogue I really like how he can show that he is a character that can uh, be in a threatful situation while also displaying some humor and trying to make some light out of pretty dark situations. Now I've also got to talk about the original trilogy ca uh, characters who end up returning in this movie and it is a real treat to see them uh, return in this movie. Uh, the one little uh, complaint I have about this movie, now this is going to be a bit of a spoiler, is that we don't really get to see all of the main characters who return from the original tril ac trilogy actually on screen together. Now it is kind of sad uh, regarding one pretty big moment in the movie which will pretty much uh, confirm that we won't see them together. Now the villain here is Kylo Ren. What I really like about Kylo Ren is that he is pretty different from Darth Vader but he actually really aspires into being uh, like Darth Vader or more powerful. But what I like most is that it seems like he is actually willing to get his hands dirty a bit more than Darth Vader did. Um, what I also like is how his abilities are far greater than what we've seen so far and uh, the past Star Wars movies at least compared to the other villains and there was one moment in the beginning where he does something that we've never really seen that I can't wait to for you guys to actually check out because that one really caught me off guard and I thought that that was a nice way of having this character first appear in the movie. Now looking at the entire plot I think that it flows very well. Action scenes are really 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 intense. It's just so great to watch. It was also a really awesome experience to hear John Williams scoring the movie again. John Williams scored all six Star Wars movies and him returning for episode 7 is just a really great continuation of at least the the story told musically. It was kind of a letdown because he did such a great job in the prequel trilogies that I really uh, maybe I over expected what he could do in this and felt a little let down but at least you know it was nice to hear some familiar themes return in this movie. As a big Star Wars fan I am definitely gonna say that I was not disappointed by this film. I thought that it did a great job of um, returning to these characters that we know and love and by also paying respects to the past stories that we've had before and how it also feels like uh, even though George Lucas didn't actually direct this or have that much creative input, it really did feel like a, a really good um, part of the franchise and like it's really blending well together and it's uh, making for a really interesting uh, story to return to because uh, we all thought that the story would be over after uh, episode 3 completed the whole franchise but now I'm really excited to see where they could go with the story after seeing how it ends. I think you guys are also really gonna love the ending. I won't say anything else but uh, that was a really awesome treat. Speaking as a Star Wars fan, the way I would rank this among all other Star Wars films, I have to rank this up at the number one on my list. I would have The Force Awakens, then I would have Empire Strikes Back, then Return of the Jedi, then Revenge of the Sith, A New Hope, 
Attack of the Clones, and Phantom Menace. So as for my overall review for this movie, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. So thank you guys so much for watching. Just want to wish you all happy holidays. And of course, may the force be with you.